a lot of people think, well, maybe my property isn't really that historic, and they're not uh, aware that the standard for historic in a historic district is that it's 50 years old. And a lot of people think of it as a fixed thing, but in fact, it's everything that's 50 years or older. If you have a property in a historic neighborhood, it tends to be worth more than a similar property in a non-historic neighborhood. Okay. It makes better sense for you to invest a dollar into a historic neighborhood getting the tax credit than a comparable building outside of the historic district. We're at the beginning of, I think, a very long-term recovery for this immediate area. Uh, people's attitudes have changed from where they were 20, 30 years ago. Um, people are appreciating historic character, want walkable neighborhoods, still want a yard, uh, but want to be close to amenities, close to where they work, are not less enamored of the far distant suburbs that were just built in the bean fields. The character of the neighborhood is going to keep getting uh, more uh, rich and more interesting, and the people are now willing to come in and make the investments to bring it back. Everybody making investment makes everyone else's investment secure. Right. The whole dynamic has changed. It seems as though the 20-somethings look at Dayton differently than they did 20, 30 years ago. Um, and we're really happy. We're welcoming them, okay. everybody in. And we think uh, investors need to come in and look and see what's still here that still needs a little TLC. One last question is, do you think I could drive that thing? At some point? Uh, yeah, you could give it a try. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. I'd like to go do that Yeah, we'll, we'll stand back and watch. <laughs> I, I don't want to do it anywhere near your house, though. I might... Uh, I might well, we got, some, we got some empty <laughs> land. You can just cruise just, around I'm back there. I just want to knock something down. <laughs> yeah, you can do that with that thing. <laughs> Only to rebuild, though, of course. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dan. Sure. I appreciate your time. Okay. Have a great day. Thanks.